it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now, guys, today I'm going to be cross pollinating two of my uh, uh, Camacerius um, hybrids. Well, this is the original Camacerius sylvestri, um, often commonly known the peanut cactus. And this particular plant was the very first one I ever got in my collection um, 25 years ago. <laughs> and um, it started off a tiny little cluster. And as you can see now, it's a massive, big, multi headed, uh, beautiful plant beautiful bloom today and I have one of the hybrids here which is um, a, a Camacerus hybrid and it has the dark red deep red flower so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cross pollinating the two and um, see if I can get seeds and um, I did pollinate this one last year by itself just other flowers on the same plant and I got seed and um, I actually, they're young little seedlings today, and I'm going to see if I can cross pollinate them purely as a bit of a fun experiment. And um, I'll let you know to future date if it's been a success. So, obviously, all you need to do is I always mention when I'm pollinating cacti plants and any plant, always make sure you use a clean brush um, or you can use a cotton bud, whichever you prefer. I always prefer to use a brush and then load up the brush with all the pollen on there of the um, the plant you're going to be um, pollinating. Now, some Camacerus are, are self-pollinating and some are cross and some are both. As you can see, you wait to get plenty of pollen. I'll just try that one. There might be more pollen on, on this one. Sometimes it's always best to wait a couple of days, a day or two after the flowers open. I find the pollen comes away a lot easier and the stigma, is more, the stigma on the other one is more receptive. Bring it over to the other one and then put the pollen onto the, um, the stigma of the other one there and then you just cross again or we'll load up that brush with um, the other one there and so you can see all the pollen on the end and then bring it across and put it onto the stigma and the same with this one there um, load up all the brush and then bring it across onto the um, the stigma just brush it on you can see all the pollen and vice versa uh, the pollen on there and uh, Bring it across onto there and um, I'll let you know if it's a success guys. I love pollinating cactus flowers and um, there's not a lot of information online on what is self-pollinating and what's not. As you can see I have another one here as well but I always just uh, have a go myself and see what takes and what, get, what I get seed from and uh, it's all very exciting to get seeds from your very own plants and links up above to a playlist that I've made on pollinating cactus flowers and growing from seed. There's many different varieties there. As you can see, I have my Lophophora williamsii. I'm going to be cross pollinating these as well. And I've already made a video on pollinating um, Lophophora. So um, that will also be in that playlist, which is in the links above. And um, I see lot, lots more Camaceruses all in flower there, all the hybrids, absolutely breathtaking. I'll just take you outside just to show you a bit of the beauty at the moment, because it's gorgeous weather here in Ireland at the moment. Look at that. So many. So I'm going to be lots of pollination uh, on the go here and um, videos. <laughs> so I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of flower power as always from Ireland. And until the next video, guys. Bye.